it's interesting that you're sort of always that guy who's looking for like these different angles of either putting things together in a different way or finding these sort of clever hacks in order to take something and make it be worth more. Um, has your mind just always worked that way? Um, I think, I mean, growing up, I had kind of your typical Asian American parents and you know, they wanted me to go learn a variety of musical instruments, get into a good school, and in order to get into a good school, the reason for that was to get into a good grad school and, and so on. And for me, I think the whole idea of just having my whole life you know, charted out for me just never sat well with me. And so this whole entrepreneurship thing was, I guess, kind of my way of rebelling against my parents. And uh, growing up, I, um, one of my favorite TV shows growing up was actually MacGyver. And I, I really liked the show because he never had exactly what he needed in whatever situation, but you knew that by the end of the hour, he would somehow put together duct tape and some, a toothpick and, and string tape. and then uh, make a sailboat and you know, <laughs> save himself and save the world. And so for me, I guess that's what I've always loved about entrepreneurship. It's like basically getting to play MacGyver, but for business. And, you never know exactly how things will turn out, but there's also this co combination of creativity and optimism and, and faith that it will.